Hey there, how's it going everybody? Dan here with PlantAbundance.com. Just want to give you a quick update on the goji berry plants that I've been documenting here on the channel. As you can see, I've got quite a few different shrubs growing against the fence line here. This is a four foot wire fence and it works really great as a trellis. And this is bordering my chicken coop area. And it also does a great job at discouraging the chickens from actually popping up and out of the coop. Wherever these are growing, they actually add a little bit of height to the fence. So highly recommend considering growing them this way. If you've been following along, you know I have talked in the previous videos about growing this as an understory shrub layer and a food forest design, which is what I'd done for the first couple years. But I opted to go ahead and change the design up a bit. And I've done this with several other different plants as well. So right over here is where I had them growing previously. And I just want to go over a little bit about why I went ahead and changed it out and what I plan on putting here now in the future. Right now I've got some lavender under this apricot tree. There's a perennial hibiscus that's come back. It's really enjoying that afternoon shade under this dwarf almond tree. Right here I've got a walking stick kale that bolted and went to seed rather early so it's pretty small but it's putting off a whole load of seeds so I'm waiting to go ahead and harvest that. That's a zucchini which makes another great understory just like the crookneck squash and over here I've got some open space where I'm going to be putting in some new species. Perhaps something like the ceanothus here which is thriving. This is the Joyce Couture varietal and it put off some beautiful flowers earlier this year. I'll be pruning it back a little bit. So anyway, back to the goji berry discussion. What I did is back in the winter time when the gojis were still dormant, I went ahead and just pulled them on up by their roots and transplanted them. It was really that simple. It was actually a little bit difficult getting them out of the ground. Their root system is very vigorous. And it only took me, I don't know, maybe a half an hour to go ahead and pull them out and transplant them. And the reason why I opted to do that was because with these dwarf trees, as you can see, the lowest branches on these trees are actually starting just about two and a half feet off the ground. So the goji berries can get, you know, seven feet tall plus, and they were working their ways up into the tree and it was working great as a trellis, but I just wanted more airflow. I wanted more freedom of space around the trees and I wanted uh, more contrast in the design. So I opted to go ahead and move those out. transferred many different plants throughout the garden um, through the years and it's a practice I kind of enjoy actually I don't like disturbing the soil or the plant once it's set but if something's not fully working out you come across with a better design idea don't be afraid to make some changes Chickens are really enjoying today. It's a nice, beautiful day. Little breeze, it's in the 70s. All the birds are out. We just had a couple days of overcast and now everything's kind of coming back to life out here. All right, everybody, well, thanks again for tuning in as always. And I'll be getting back to you real soon with some more content. So stay tuned, take care. I hope you're having a great day out there. Cheers.